makers of fantastic cigarettes, long in the leaf and short in the can, bring you another true story from the tattered case book of Nick Danger, Third Eye. Let's join him now in the adventure we call Cut Him Off at the Past. It all began innocently enough on Tuesday. I was sitting in my office on that drizzly afternoon, listening to the monotonous staccato of rain on my desktop and reading my name on the glass of my office door. Regnad Kisten. My secretary lay snoring on the floor, her long, beautiful gams pinioned under the couch. I didn't hear him enter, but my nostrils flared at the smell of his perfume. Pyramid patchouli. There was only one joker in L.A. sensitive enough to wear that scent, and I had to find out who he was. Good afternoon, Mr. Danger. I'm Rocky Rococo. Thanks, Half Pint. You just saved me a lot of investigative work. Maybe yes, maybe no. Do you know what this is? I had to think for a minute. What cruel game was he playing? Uh, that's a brown paper bag. That's correct. Now, look inside, Mr. Danger. What do you see? That's easy. That's a pickle. Very good. Now, I think you're ready for this. Why, that's nothing but a two-bit ring from a crackerback jocks. I'll sell it to you for $5,000. <laughs> what kind of a chump do you take me for? First class. That tarnished piece of tin is worthless. Worthless? <laughs> Not to Melanie Haber. Melanie Haber? You may remember her as Audrey Farber. Audrey Farber? Susan Underhill? Susan Underhill? How about Betty Jo Bialoski? <laughs> Betty Jo Bialowski. I hadn't heard that name since college. Everyone knew her as Nancy. Then it all came rushing back to me like the hot kiss at the end of a wet fist. It was pig night at the O Money Padme Sigma house. We had escaped from the crowd and stood trembling under the dwarf maple. Oh, oh, Nicky, I, oh, I don't know what to say. This is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Yeah, Nancy. It's really neat. It cost me $5,000. <gasps> oh, Nicky, I... Well, how can I ever repay you? Well, gee whiz, Nancy. How about 500 down and a 36-month contract? What? Or you could marry me. That's impossible, Nick. I can't marry you. I, I can't even tell you why. Maybe someday. All right, Nancy. I understand. Sign here. Oh, Nick. I'll never forgive you. And I'll never forget you neither, Nancy. And that's why I called you today, Nancy. I mean, Mrs. Heber. Something reminded me of that time so long ago under the dwarf maples. I don't know what prompted you to get in touch with me, but you called just in the nick of time. You haven't lost your delicate sense of humor, have you, Nancy? What? Nick, I can't talk to you now. You have to get out here right away. My husband, he... It's the same old place in Santa Barbara, Nikki. Oh, hurry, Nikki, I need you. I can't... Nancy! I slipped the ring into my nose and the receiver into my pocket and headed for the door quickly. But I'd forgotten the little man with the evil grin. Just a second, danger. What about my pickup? You're lucky you still have your brown paper bag, small change. Ah! Danger! You haven't seen the last of me! No, but the first of you turns my stomach. You'll be ready for me again, danger! <laughs> 